We're returning to fruit clinic to save some more fruits so they can probably get eaten later. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to Fruit Clinic. No, it is not Mobile Monday. Instead, it's Fruit Fun Friday. That's, that's a thing that I just made up. Either way, uh, we've all been getting a kick out of this game, and part of the fun is just guessing what the next fruit is that we're gonna be operating on. Like, for instance, this guy, he's apparently a VIP. I don't know what he is. He might be a kiwi or something. Either way, he's got a pimple, and if you guys have been following this series, I hate fruits with pimples. That's not normal, but we should probably save this little guy. Let's let's pull this worm out of his chest and just put it over there so we can examine it later. I don't know. Why would we save the worm? Either way, we got to pop this pimple and I just absolutely hate this process. I don't want it to blow up in my face. Oh my gosh, it's taking so long. The explosion of the Fruit pimples is so upsetting. I hate it. Let's clean this guy off. I don't think we're actually gonna cut this one up. We're just gonna clean him up and, and let him have a, a happy day. I still am not exactly sure what he is. Now, I don't think he's a kiwi because kiwis have, have fuzz. This is a fuzzless fruit. I don't know. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comment section. Let's move on to our next fruit, shall we? This fruit looks very sad. I'm pretty sure this is a plum. Not a grape, because grapes come in, in bunches. This is a plum, so so we need to get rid of this plum's infection. Good, all right, he's, he's feeling a lot better now. Now we need to cut him up, <laughs> gosh. There's a small plum inside of you. Don't you worry, we're gonna save you. All right, now you're a parent, I guess. You're gonna raise that plum to have a great plum life. I feel good about my work here in fruit clinic, saving fruits so that they can get eaten later. We got ourselves some kind of pepper here. Ghost pepper? I don't know, be careful. Use gloves on this guy and don't touch your eyes after handling this spicy fella. Let's see what we gotta do. Okay, first clean off the pepper. Get, get, the, get the surgical area nice and clean, okay. You're good. Now we're gonna cut you open, buddy. All right, don't you worry. Oh my gosh, okay. You got worms and a smaller pepper. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll, we'll clean that up and then uh, we'll just we'll pull out this adorable little baby pepper. That is just too cute. <laughs> I just I love it. Look at it. He's, he's looking, he's, he's looking up at his, his, his mama. Mama, I'm a pepper too. Such a weird game. All right. You guys are gonna have a great life together. I'm gonna sew you up. You're, you're gonna be very, very happy. And one day you're gonna make a delicious salsa. But who knows, maybe you'll get to be in the same salsa together. <laughs> oh my, what are you? Is this an artichoke? An artichoke is not a fruit. In fact, I think an artichoke is technically like a flower. Is this an artichoke? Now I have to Google it. Is an artichoke a fruit? No, an artichoke is a vegetable. Google has spoken, and Google says an artichoke is a vegetable. I've been lied to. This game is a lie. It's not fruit clinic. It's fruit and vegetable clinic. Either way, we already knew that. We've we've cut open, like, carrots and stuff. They're, those are vegetables. Either way, let's save this poor little artichoke. <laughs> All right. Get the worm out. Okay. Place it over there. You've got some flies going on. So there's some rot happening here. Oh, you know what? Do we use this on the, the ugly leaves? Yes. Yes, we do. We got to get another batch so that we can clean up that little leaf there. Okay. I'm digging this. And then, uh, oh, we're going to cut open your head. We're doing brain surgery on an artichoke. This is weird. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. <laughs> Let's suck up those worms. Clean you up, and then uh, sew you up, and then you're good to go. There you go. That's a happy artichoke that is not a fruit. Broccoli? You're broccoli, right? Broccoli is definitely a vegetable. I'm not going to harp too much on the game here, but we're getting a lot of veggies now. Maybe it's because we're higher up in our, our, our level stats. You know, we've gotten so good at operating on fruits. We need to move on to the, the far more difficult vegetables. But here we go again. 
popping broccoli pimples. Oh gosh, that one, that one was ready to go. Oh, absolutely disgusting. Okay, all right, we, we'll get these, these worms out of this broccoli. I just, I would not feel comfortable uh, eating this broccoli after knowing, you know, what kind of infection he had. But he is a very happy broccoli. All right, who's next up on the docket? We're saving vegetables left and right. Oh, we got ourselves a VIP, and I don't know what that VIP is. He seems very cool, though. Extremely cool. I would love to hear you guys' theories on what this thing is. It's got, like, leaves in his back. It almost looks like a the, the peacock of fruits. Like, you know, peacock feathers. It's a weird-looking fruit. If it didn't have the leaves behind it, I feel like it would just be an orange or, or maybe a peach or something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's what makes him a VIP. He's just a very unique fella. Let's uh, let's cut him open. Okay, you've got some gross stuff in your insides. Or or those are just seeds. Well, let's stitch this guy up and uh, give him a nice little band-aid. And there you go. An easy 3,000 bucks. Still don't know what you are, but you look very happy now. So that's good. Is this just a slightly weird shaped kiwi? I think we'll know once we cut it open, right? Cause I mean, kiwis are, they're green inside. So, so we'll find out what are you? Okay, the fuzz has been removed. Let's see, green, not green, brown in fact. I have no idea. And we have to make two incisions? Okay, what are these? Are these just seeds? Yeah, okay, we're pulling seeds out of this strange fruit that I do not recognize and then we're just gonna stitch him up and he's he's good to go I guess okay I I am very very interested in knowing what this thing is what's a brown fuzzy fruit that is also brown on the inside if nothing else this game has taught me that I don't know a lot of fruits <laughs> I think that's safe to say let's move along I wish there was more upgrades for the decor, you know? I got all this cash, 16,000 fruit bucks, and I can't spend it. Okay, this is a cool looking fruit. Don't know what it is, but it's cool. It's purple. It's not a plum, right? We already operated on a plum. Maybe it's just a different shaped plum, you know? Not all plums look exactly the same. Either way, we gotta pull out this worm, and then they've got some kind of Infection you can tell because there's flies flying around them. Let's let's cut them open. Ooh, ooh And an infection on the inside. I think that's the first time we've ever seen that give me the the syringe the D infector It's actually like on the 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 pit of the fruit pit of the fruit was infected So what is purple orange on the inside and has a pit are there purple apricots? I thought apricots are, are typically orange Google Purple apricot, show me. There are red velvet apricots? Hear me out. This could be a red velvet apricot. Or it could just be a plum that is shaped differently than the previous plum. We may never know. But I think we've been leaving this guy hanging out like this long enough. Let's stitch him up. Send him on his merry way. I can't believe that we've completed 32 levels of this game. It's incredible. I just, I want to keep going. <laughs> I got to know what's next. I can't stop. Oh, dear. What is that? This fruit straight up has, like, tendrils. I don't know if I like this thing. <laughs> I've got to know what this is. I have to Google this, but first, let's try to save it. Oh my goodness. So, okay, so like some of its weird looking tendrils got infected or something, and so we're, we're pulling them off, I guess? I don't know. This is such a weird looking fruit. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable eating this thing. I really want to know what this is, though. Let's cut it open. Okay, you've got an infection. That explains why the tendrils were dying. But we're gonna fix you up. We're gonna get rid of these worms. It also appears to have a pit, maybe? Or maybe that's just a seed in there? I don't know. Either way, uh, I've gotta Google this thing. How do you even Google what this is? What do I ask Google? What kind of fruit has spikes? That's one of the autocompletes here. Maybe? Oh, I think I found it! CBS News. They did not let me down. 15 strange fruits and vegetables, and it's number one 
the rambutan. I don't even know if that's how it's pronounced. While it may look a bit like a clown's toupee, the rambutan is a medium-sized tropical fruit that is native to Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Sri Lanka, and other Southeast Asian countries. Additionally, rambutan is a Malay word literally meaning hairy, attributed to its hairy cover. There's an image of a rambutan. That's definitely what we just cut open. Very strange looking fruit. I wonder what it tastes like. If any of you guys have eaten a rambutan in the comment section below, let me know what you, what, what you think of this thing. It's kind of terrifying. Let's move along. I am kind of like rejuvenated with the idea of, of what kind of fruits we're gonna run into here. Oh, a pineapple. I can't believe we haven't done surgery on a pineapple yet until now. We're gonna save you adorable little pineapple man don't you worry we've saved the rambutan now it's time to save the pineapple clean him up he's got all kinds of infections it's actually disgusting now why is he like missing scales that's like the best way i can describe it i mean those are not normally what what pineapple skin looks like but there's oh okay so we, we're doing a pineapple scale transplant <laughs> All right, we're gonna fix you up, buddy, and you're gonna be a very happy pineapple. There you go. Oh, it's such a weird game. I love it. We got ourselves another VIP, and I don't know what he is. So I think this guy might actually be a star fruit, and I didn't even have to Google it. There we go. Now you're a nice, beautiful orange color. Oh, dear. Okay. All right. We've got we've got some problems here. Okay, so the, you got worms. You got worms. We're gonna We're gonna get those worms out of you. We're gonna treat you well, cause you're a VIP. You came in here with, with glasses. That's how you get treated better. It's basically science. Anywhere you gotta go, just wear your sunglasses inside and you're you're good to go. Here you go, Band-Aid. That's a happy little star fruit. I think it's a star fruit. Oh no, is this just a banana peel? What are you? Is this a real thing? What, what is happening here? It looks like a peeled banana. It, it can't be the, oh, but he has a broken heart. That's always so sad, but we're very good at fixing broken hearts here at F Kindly Keen's Fruit Clinic. So there you go, you get yourself a new heart and you're gonna be just absolutely the happiest weird banana peel looking fruit ever. I don't think that this is just a peeled banana. So if you know what it is, please let me know. I want to know. But I gotta say, that was a pretty exciting episode with the appearance of the very strange and exotic rambutan, the hairy fruit. <laughs> but there are also some other fun ones that we got to operate on. I have no idea how many levels this game has. It may just keep going forever, for all I know. But let me know if this is something that you guys want me to continue playing. We'll play it here and there, cut open some more fruits, see some weird exotic fruits, hairy fruits not hairy fruits, all kinds of fruits. But that is gonna do it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.